Okay, in this small little video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to live pose a character with the new OmniLive 2 workflow. So here I have our sole character, and it's got a animation rig as well as the bound geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit export, and I'm going to go to our to my local host under soul, and I'm just going to say soul. And skeletal mesh is my type because this is a bound character with skinning deformation. And I have this character in a selection set that I specifically want to export. I don't want all the puppet controls. So I'm going to say export scale mesh. No animation. I want my MDLs. Um, I don't really need cameras and lights, so I'll leave that off. I'm in Z up. And we're going to go from there. Export. Okay, I have exported my character, so I'm going to open it up over in Create. And here we go, and you can see I have the skeleton visible. If I wanted to turn that on and off, I can go to Show by Type, go ahead and tear this menu off, and I can see my skeleton. I'm just going to go ahead and keep that over here for the time being. And I'm going to start a live session here. I'm just going to call this live pose demo. I'm going to keep the Maya files. This is really important. I want to keep the local source because this has my puppet rig in it. If I fetch from Omniverse, I'm not going to have my puppet rig. So there we go. I've got that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to join this session, which we can see that I am the administrator and owner of this. And now I can just go over here and start moving some controls. So I'll start with this little um, shoulder panel here. And you can see it's moved. And let's do a bigger movement here. There we go. Turn my skeletons back off. And let's go ahead and raise this arm up a bit. There we go. So we can live pose our character. There we go. Then when I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this session here. And over here, I'm going to leave as well. Thank you.